Welcome to this tutorial on how to fix a status code 400 error with Apollo Group TV. This error typically occurs when there is an issue with the request you're sending to the server. The first step in resolving a 400 error is to ensure that the request you're making follows the correct syntax and format. Check the API documentation provided by Apollo Group TV for the correct parameters and payload structure. Make sure that the URL of the API endpoint you're using is accurate and valid. Sometimes a simple typo in the URL can lead to a 400 error. Review parameters. If your request includes parameters, double check that they are correctly formatted and within the expected range or type specified by Apollo Group TV's API. Check authentication. Ensure that you're including any required authentication credentials such as API keys or tokens in your request. Without proper authentication, you may encounter a 400 error. Inspect error response. When you receive a 400 error response from Apollo Group TV's API, carefully review the response body. It often contains specific error messages or details that can help you identify the exact issue. Consider rate limits. Apollo Group TV may have rate limits in place to prevent excessive use of their API. Check if you're exceeding these limits, as it could also trigger a 400 error. By following these steps, you should be able to troubleshoot and resolve the status code 400 error when working with Apollo Group TV's API. If you continue to experience issues, consult their support or developer documentation for further assistance. That's how you can fix Apollo Group TV status code 400. Thanks for watching.